Okay, we are live. Lina, welcome everybody out there. If there is already somebody out there, welcome to another round of The World is Beautiful again. I'm Sebastian. My name is Lina. Yeah, and we're here to to repair the world, basically using AI tools. Specifically these days we're using Photoshop's AI. So yeah, once again, I'm trying to explain it in the beginning for those who are new or, I don't know, stumble, stumble upon this um, stream on Twitch while, I don't know, surfing some archives on Twitch. We set up this piece commissioned by Photo Museum Winter to um, um, and offering the service that if you see something out there in the world which you think should be changed, repaired or removed altogether, then snap a photo, upload it on our website, the world is beautiful dot, uh, again, dot com, and we will then take care of what is uh, broken or, I don't know, a problem in your photo. We will fix it, try to fix it using Photoshop's AI generative tool and then re-upload it to the website where you can download it and then use it, share it and so on. And yeah, I think yeah we are both, we have both had hiring days, but that's how it is. Like care and maintenance work doesn't really, uh, you can't wait until you're relaxed and you're looking forward to it. It has to be done and we will do it now. So yeah, shall we start, Lina? Yes. Okay, let's go. So what we do is we always always go chronologically. We start with a photo that is not repaired and has been uploaded the longest time ago. And then we will start there. Lina is repairing one, I'm repairing the other. And yeah, and we don't know what to repair. We have to improve. Okay, so I think my first image for today is the elevator because in last stream Sebastian did an image with an elevator. So I will try to fix this one. I mean, it's super obvious there is a missing lamp, so I can fix this thing at first. Okay, somehow this looks very, very wrong. Let's start with the original image. Yeah, so I had to Google it because I had forgotten the name. What I'm attempting now is it's called Kintsugi probably Lina knows it and doesn't have to google the name but it's Japanese method basically or a culture of repairing using gold and I was trying to fill in some gold but Photoshop didn't like gold and instead it just yeah generated a new broken part of the wall that I'm trying to fix here. So I will try this again with another prompt. Okay, so I got three very different lamps, very weird ones. I mean, the easiest way to repair this image would probably be just copy this lamp and paste it in there, but I want to ask the AI to repair or like fix the image. So I have to work with those lamps. Okay, we, we're getting there. I'm not sure if this is a good idea, but I'm trying it today to fill in some gold into these cracks in the wall. So I've added some gold let's add some more gold and make this a very special 
beautiful wall celebrating the cracks and not getting totally rid of them. So I do not like this hole, so let's remove it. Remove the black hole. Yeah, I'm waiting for the gold. Okay, gold is here. I mean, it, it never really fills it. It just puts it into the crack in the in the back. But that's okay, I think. Sort of like it. Putting in some more gold over here. Yeah, that's the thing. I think Lena, we both have realized that generosity plays a big role in in this. Mm -hmm repair work using AI because you can really do whatever you want as long as Photoshop plays along which often is not the case but then you can yeah, say why not make it gold Yeah, and if anybody is out there watching the stream on Twitch, feel free to comment and maybe help us out because often we're sitting here, we feel sort of, I don't know, overwhelmed by the challenge. Like, okay, how can I fix this? What is a good fix? What would the person in the photo want? Or the person who uploaded the photo? We don't know. So if you have any requests out there or ideas, I don't know. We appreciate it all. So yeah, let's add some more gold here. And Maybe here. Sebastian you can help me. Should I cover the lamps or is it done like that like this? So I didn't really follow what was there in the beginning. There was one lamp was missing. I can show you the original one image. One light light bulb was missing. Yeah. So this is the original one. So I've added a lamp, closed the hole and removed the, the black dust in here. So now I was wondering, should I cover the whole thing? Uh, yeah, because it looks dangerous. Huh? Yeah, and it looks somehow wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you, my bet is Photoshop won't allow you to put a cover on it, but maybe it works. Well, maybe it actually works. You can come up with a, a nice cover. So yeah, yeah, do it. I'm all for it. Okay, so let's try to cover it. Oh yeah. Let's generate some more gold. Yeah, actually, generating gold is nice. This feels good. This gold is not good gold. No, no, no. Okay, so what I realize is selecting multiple areas and then generating something in multiple areas doesn't work. You have to go bit by bit, which I think is. Yeah, fair. but sometimes it works. Yeah. Well, this time it didn't, and I think it's okay. I mean, yeah. Maybe I should copy paste. prompt so i can do it over and over again but it, yeah it feels like i'm generating tiny patches but photoshop is as slow as always to generate them so i got a pretty good cover for the lamps yeah looks good to me this Just one looks the safest sort of yeah. maybe i can also fix this tiny broken thing here Five minutes in and I'm still working on the first photo and I'm always wondering like should we be fast or should we be slow is there any like 
is there any way we can say this was a good or a bad repair session or I don't know. I feel like taking time is good, but then yeah, I don't know. So okay, I think my cover is done. Well done, Lena. Mm -hmm. I'm still generating gold. <laughs> but I think I'm getting there. Sounds like a really nice job. <laughs> generating gold. Yes. <laughs> For like 12 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and I think also Photoshop is getting better at it because it, it, it looks more shiny now. Than when I started, so it's it's learning while I'm working on it. Oops, looking well, stupid, but maybe maybe okay. Okay, uh, one last. Let's, let's remove that. One okay. last. So I'm done with this image. Oh wait, there's something new. Um, we now can add notes to the images we repaired. So for this image, I don't want to take any notes, but I can yeah, add some thoughts about editing this image or what was very difficult to edit or fix. Yeah, but for now, I'd like to skip this part. Okay, yeah, well, this is... I'm happy with this one. Okay, let's save it. Repaired, save. Before and after and then upload it. Boom, done. Skip note, and that's it. Okay. Um, Lina, I'm, I'm... The next one for me would now be the photo that we re-uploaded. Because last time, and I'm not sure if I should do this by myself or if we want to do this like, together and maybe or at least briefly discuss it. Because last time mm -hmm. we repaired one photo and it, yeah, we generated a, a t-shirt and the t-shirt says shit and somebody's wearing it and after uploading it, we were wondering, okay, Photoshop's AI, like by means of outpainting, generated that person. So it's not actually really our fault, but in the end, we feel like we should sort of address this and take yeah, responsibility in that we uh, try to repair this photo again. So, you know, what do you think? What, what should we do about this? Because, yeah, we both felt this isn't the way we want it to be online, to be circulating. Yeah, I mean, last time we did a little, uh, lot of outpainting. Maybe we can, like... Hmm. Like do more in painting stuff. So let's take the T-shirt and maybe uh, um, yeah regenerate the whole background with the person. Maybe the T-shirt is hanging inside a store. T-shirt is hanging inside a store, and I remove the person wearing it. So I say okay. This should go. Awesome. Yeah. So let's see if, if Photoshop allows me to remove the head. Because I have like if I do this I have to go bit by bit. So well remove head would be one option. We've tried this and I wanna comment on that later when I have a moment. But let's first say um wall of uh, door. 
Mm-hmm. Well, no. Because yeah, maybe to, to say this quickly, <laughs> because I always feel pressured once the generations are in, I should stop talking. No, I do it later. It's, it's progress bar is already almost at the end. Okay, so what it does, it just generates a new person and we want it to have no person. Well, this is an abstract person, at least, the third one. But yeah, I want to get rid of the whole person. Maybe it's, it's a start. Yeah, maybe you can like generate an um, animal's head. Animal. I will do that shortly. I will. I want first. I want to try and see if this, if I, if it works better when I select a bigger area. Mm -hmm. Store wall empty. But yeah, maybe some animals head or. I mean, I can always generate grass. I know how to generate grass and I feel very comfortable. Oh, okay. Um, this is interesting. I don't know how, how much your stream is lagging. So Lena, if you look at it, I have a white mask. Oh, this is actually, this is nice. It's, it's a cloud. Okay, now I can see the white mask. Okay, I will let, let you. Uh, I will keep it at this, and now you can watch it on Twitch. Mm -hmm. This one is actually quite interesting. Okay, now I can see the cloud. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the last image. Mm -hmm. I can I can zoom in a bit. Well, you can't see it because you're lagging behind. <laughs> So I have to say I, I, I like the cloud because it's so unphotoshoppy, mm -hmm. simple. Um, um, yeah, I don't know how you say. Um, it's just hiding the person. But this is also interesting because, like, I didn't say this at all. I said store wall empty, and it generated this mm -hmm. yeah this white thing. So what should we do? Hmm. Make, maybe like this, it's, well, it, it both looks like we want to put something on it. This one looks very simple, PowerPointy, and this looks proper. But still, it's some, yeah. Yeah, somehow I like the cloud a little bit more, but I can't really tell why. Maybe it's just unusual that Photoshop generates something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I think as well. It's a, it's a very simple shape for us, but it seems like for Photoshop AI, it's a very complex thing, thing to actually arrive at this simple shape. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder, do we keep the shit sign or shall we say we, we go really all clean on this one? Mm -hmm. I think you can like select the shit sign and go with generate to fill without any prompt and let's see. Yeah. Um, okay. So happening. we are once again leaving <laughs> it to to Photoshop's AI to make decisions for us. Yeah, yeah but this time we didn't want to hide behind the decision. But okay, it's a start. Let's do this and it's just gone. And all it does it, it makes the person more or less muscular, which I think is okay. Okay, so let's do it like this. I'm, I'm happy with this. I feel like we have taken responsibility. Mm -hmm. We have corrected the situation. And yeah, we will see if we have to delete or if we want to delete the other code before. Now it's still online. But this one is good. I mean, what I like is like this repairing it, but then me feeding it back into it so we can actually repair on older stuff. Or move work on older stuff. Okay, thanks, Lena, for helping. Okay. I like to continue my new image here. 
So maybe let's start again with the original one. So we can see an empty class. It looks like there was coffee or tea in it. And yeah, of course, the first task for me is to fill the, the glass with maybe, I think I tried coffee, but yeah, it's a little bit, yeah. Not the thing I wanted it to be, so maybe I should go back to the original one and select a bigger area. So my prompt could be fill the glass with lots of coffee. Okay, so here we have like an espresso shot. I really like this image. So now you have like coffee beans. So you're collaborating sort of with the person who took the photo. Yeah. You're doing some of the work, but they have to finish it. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, maybe I can outpaint this image, expand it and uh, generate a coffee machine. So I just go for generate to fill to make the background bigger and after that I will add a new coffee machine. So I think this one will be great. Yeah, maybe I should I should make it bigger. Yeah, am I done? I made a very quick but profound fix. So I think what I was looking at was the situation um it was full of pigeon excrements and there were some bicycles and i just took one of the bicycles that still looked okay and moved it into some other area which i didn't specify i just used an empty prompt i asked photoshop where do you want to put that bicycle and it just generated this and but maybe it's too easy but maybe it's good like we are 26 minutes in, maybe I can do one easy one. Even though I could have gone for more gold. <laughs> hmm. So again, I totally forgot how the original image... Uh, okay, so... This looks like a desk and now it's like a big room. Yeah, maybe. Why not? Okay, so now let's add the coffee machine. Yeah, maybe something like that. A brand new coffee machine. Another thing, 
I auto selected all the people that Photoshop could recognize in the image and just had Photoshop generate something where these people are, which worked pretty well. I think I like this one the most. Let's have a closer look. There's somebody hiking, there's another person hiking. Yeah, this is good. I feel like this is a better fix. Um, I'm more happy with this one. Okay, so I wasn't happy at all with my coffee machine. Maybe I should delete this strange black things here first. Yeah, how to describe them. Remove the black hmm. things. <laughs> I think we had this situation before, sort of. Once again, I'm, yeah, let's maybe first download it, open it in Photoshop, and then I talk about the, the image. Um, so I'm, let's zoom in a bit. I'm, yeah, now I have to work on a photo, which presumably, like very, very likely taken in Gaza. It shows, yeah total destruction basically there is some some buildings that are still intact in the background but in the front you can see a, a huge impact it's devastating the impact and um yeah so i think um yeah, well, there is, there is, I mean, we, we've talked about this before, and it's one of these situations where I can openly say, um, I don't feel like there is much I can do, but still I will try to take this. Yeah, somebody has up uploaded it and wants to, to, to see how this goes through our process, and I will try to do this. I think um, we have several approaches. One is out painting, so we see what is the context here. How can we maybe make this go away by just zooming out, zooming out, zooming out until it's gone. Another one, which I will try now is like, maybe try to repair some of the buildings. And if this doesn't work, yeah, then let's see what, what else I can do. So yeah. Maybe we can work on this image together, but I have to uh, finish my image at first, so... Yeah, I will, I will for now do some tests, because what I'm wondering is, like, if we look at this through, or at, we we're looking at this photo, but I, what I'm trying to do now is look at Photoshop and what is in, in Photoshop's AI. And mm -hmm. if I, for example, oops, let's do it with another tool, if I select one of the the destroyed buildings and ask photoshop to rebuild it can handle uh, can photoshop handle such a situation like new lively building in gaza because obviously um or Apparently this is where it is. I'm, I'm presuming this, and I want to see what does Photoshop do with a prompt new lively building in Gaza. Can it do anything with it? Yeah, and once again, if anybody is out there watching the stream, feel free to send us any messages what we can do in such a situation. I mean, we are um, considering the option to mark images as unrepairable. So if that is something yeah, you think we should do, then let us know. So I have generated, or Photoshop has generated two new buildings. I would say they both still look destroyed. So we have more destroyed buildings. 
or maybe it's the artifacts that AI is generating that doesn't look much better. So I can try to fix the windows here, but I think this is not the way to go. was exactly your prompt rebuild the houses or fix the houses or um, i didn't use a verb what i said was new let me check it new lively building in gaza and i, I, I selected two of the destroyed houses and it generated two houses which i think yeah they still look sort of destroyed damaged mm -hmm. and now i said okay let's generate a new facade for one of these but it also doesn't look like particularly nice buildings. But what do you think? Should I continue uh, building by building? Or I can also select the area that is destroyed and ask Photoshop to just generate that part entirely. Mm. I think it will work the best if you go house by house. So if you select the whole area and just go for a generate fill or like generate a new house, it will automatically automatically uh, generate beautiful houses and beautiful landscapes. Yeah, which 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 could isn't the worst thing maybe here, but okay, let's. approach of going house by house and I started with one of the houses that wasn't as destroyed it could work but yeah I still want to to see what does Photoshop do if I select all of the damaged area City in Gaza, lively, many people. So yeah, we, we, we talked about what to do with this photo before and I said I feel not ready, but I feel like I might be able to do something about it. But now sitting here, I realize it's really... Um... So this would be a new... like I will keep this for a moment, Lena, so then you can see it in the stream because yeah, Lina is looking at what I'm doing through Twitch's stream, which is lagging behind. So this would be a new city with new people and all that. Maybe this is, I don't know if this is good or worse. This is really hard to tell. Okay, so now I see the new images. Let me just zoom in. Yep, 
Yeah, I mean, it looks like a better place to live now. Mm. I mean, the, the, I'm not sure if this can be done, but maybe we can separate this somehow. Like, we are presented now with a photo which clearly has a, a, a catastrophic real life reference, but still, the, the person who uploaded it uploaded the photo wanted to see us go through it and also to, wanted us to do something about it so if we say okay we are trying to do something about it this is something we could do and it's probably just as i don't know what it's so weird like these are probably some some stock photo kits now standing there mm -hmm. Dina, what do you think? Should I keep them or shall I not keep them? It's difficult to tell. Hmm. Well, what I can offer is this. We can, I can finish this photo like this. We upload it, at, but we still might upload this photo again and then work more on it or in, like go back and say no this was a mistake and we make it unrepairable so we go step by step but we say maybe this is one one thing mm -hmm. or should i go with the houses like you know this was um, let me check where are the houses doesn't feel much better to generate new houses yeah what is a collage of this? Yeah, it is. Yeah, but maybe it's a good first attempt uh, to generate the new people in there. And yeah, I mean, like, leave yeah. it for this, like now, uh, for yeah. now. Yeah. Um, yeah, and talk yeah. about it a week later so we can yeah. think of, uh, think about it. Yeah, maybe that's a sensible approach because like we are sitting here and we have to react really in the moment which is when you're live on twitch with not a huge audience now but possibly um it's difficult one thing i'm i'm annoyed by is that this kit is missing trousers and i don't feel comfortable with with this and i will mm -hmm. i will generate some trousers not the longest ones but Yeah, and I think then for the first time we have cleared the queue once I have done that, you know? Like there are no more images to be repaired. Ah. Or are there? No, I think so. Wait a second. Okay, so no. That was the last image for today yeah there is something i'm not sure if i if if it's a good idea to talk about but there is like once you zoom in into these bodies there is actually a lot to think about about these these bodies but okay for now i will repair it yeah, not repaired I've okay, uploaded so... it. I will. I will say <laughs> this is done. But this time, I will write a note. So this feature is really for these moments where we are face, facing something which is too too complex, and we feel like we want to to say something about it. Okay, but what then to say as a note? Mm.
So I've uploaded my very last image as well. And what I did, what I simply did was removing the garbage cans. So you can see here is the before and here's the after with more flowers and a beautiful bench here. Yeah. I will now save the note, I can edit it later. It's also not so easy to reflect now mm -hmm. um, in the moment. But yeah, so this means, um, yeah, that's it basically. That is it, not because time is over, that's true, but also because there are no more photos to be repaired. And I'm sure there is many more things to be repaired or changed in the world. And I'm sure we will come back to the photo that I've just marked as okay. beautiful again. But yeah, Lena, anything we want to, to add before we lock out of the, the stream? I think we should cut it a day for now. <laughs> okay, that's it for today. So yeah, we might see you again next week if there is something to be done. So see you. See you.